I'd like to introduce um, Justin McClure of uh, Tidal Farm to do our uh, second presentation today. Justin. Thanks. First of all, um, Justin, two things. Uh, great presentation. There is an app for everything. And, <laughs> and I need to talk to you afterwards about animating your logo. I've got tons of ideas. <laughs> Before I can begin to even talk about what Tidal Farm is, it's important to understand why we created Tidal Farm in the first place. My background is in advertising and broadcast design and animation. And I worked with these companies before starting my own company in 2007. We're a very small studio here in Wichita, Kansas. Sorry, I keep moving. There's three of us, including myself. And um, we've been blessed to work with a host of national brands over the last decade. And while we've been blessed to work with these national brands and, and these clients, we have an extreme passion to work with these folks, small local businesses that make your town your kind of town, the kind of folks that usually have no advertising budget. <laughs> so how do we create unique custom animated content for these folks and do what we love doing and still keep the lights on? We had to reinvent how we were doing things. We had to create a new platform. We had to go outside of TV and what's considered traditional video um, broadcast. We had to create a platform called, is this, am I losing light? Okay, sorry. Um, it's dimming down, right? Sorry, all right. <laughs> All right, it's going back up. All right, we had to create a platform called Tidal Farm, and so here's a quick sneak peek of uh, Tidal Farm. Here's your story. Let's begin. The water's fine. Come on, dive in. The future's here. It's right before you. So Tidal Farm's a unique platform. It's a, it's a website, and it's also attached to a mobile device. Right now, it's the iOS. And we wanted to be able to create and animate damn near anything that we wanted to and get it on this device and have it on the go. And so we've also opened this up to any other designers and animators that want to contribute and add content to this platform. And it is free. They can upload it as long as they play by the rules. It's a five-second animation, and it needs to include an alpha channel and such, and there's rules that are listed. And you can make this content both private and public. And again, this is all free. So why is uh, Tidal Farm so awesome? I, this is really the part of the presentation where I ask you to participate. If you have an iPhone, I'd love for you to find Tidal Farm and download it and enter in promo code ICT. For the sake of time, I've went ahead and screen captured this process. And so I'm going to start talking about how this works. So right now, I'm going to enter in promo code ICT. And right, we've created a bunch of Wichita animations. And if you single tap, on the windows, you can see a small preview of what the animations look like. If you double tap, it takes you to a different screen where you can actually add a photo. And this can be any photo from your library that you've taken. In this case, I'm adding a photo of Delano because we're talking about Delano. And I'm adjusting this photo. And we have a few little simple um, filters that we can darken the photo so we can see the text. And it renders in about a second and a half. And now I'm ready to post this in Instagram or Facebook or any other place, social media place I want to. I can jazz it up with new colors and whatnot and post it. I'm going to show you another example real quick with uh, posting to Facebook. So again, picking a photo, do some slight adjustments, and the next thing I do is, is render it. And now I'm going to post it on Facebook. Now there's other options you can see here. Yeah, Instagram, Pinterest, you can post to different things right from the app. And this is my horrible typing skills. I love Old Town. So why, why, is, why, is, uh, why is it so cool? Well, we've made it super simple to share. We've created promo codes. Um, the app is three megabytes, so it downloads with almost very low uh, Wi-Fi connection. And there's no sign up and there's no login. So we've made it extremely easy for, pe for people to share this kind of content. And specifically, 
your content if you upload it to the farm. Um, Title Farm supercharges your social media. It converts your photo into a video. Why is that important? Because Facebook is claiming that they're getting three to five times more engagement with video content versus still photos. So we're basically just supercharging the photo to make it an animation. Um, there's an increase of over 40% Instagram saying over the last year of people viewing animated content, video content, versus just looking at still photos. So it's a 40% increase, which is huge, just over the last year. Um, it increases your brand awareness. No one's stopping you from uploading your logo and doing fun stuff. We can add flames and fire and whatever you want to do, but it's, it's uh, completely custom and it's open to anybody. This also increases the, the reusability. If I have Taco Tuesday, Ryan Ince, I'm looking at you. If I have Taco Tuesday, and I want to post a new picture every Tuesday of, of my tacos or whatever, whatever I'm promoting, I can use that animation over and over and over again with a new photo and make it new and, and fresh. And then we've made it completely easy to share. We've really held nothing back from sharing this kind of content and be able to use these promo codes to find the content and then share it. Uh, this is kind of a sneak peek. We are uh, teaming up with the Wichita Chamber and as well as Flip Hound. And, um, they told me I was okay to showcase this. This is going to be showing up in the next couple of weeks in magazines and also on billboards, but we're really trying to promote uh, I Love Wichita, and we've engaged with the chamber, um, so thank you very much for engaging with us, uh, creating some Wichita uh, animations. But now they're taking it to the next step, and this is what I love about Title Farm is every week we're getting introduced to new ideas and new things. And so uh, in this case, they're, uh, the chamber is wanting people to post uh, primarily on Instagram. We hope you use Title Farm to animate something cool. Uh, and as long as you're hashtagging I love Wichita, then they're going to take that content and redistribute it to Brandon and to Flip Pound. And that's going to be up on the billboards helping support local businesses and, and, uh, and small, small businesses in Wichita. So, so now's the part of the awesome. presentation where you ask me how the hell I'm going to make money. We're going to ask you, we're going to ask you some questions for sure. I did just download it and already posted on Instagram. That was a cool One Million Cups logo, so yeah. it was animated, so look cups. for it. Yeah. Um, any questions, please raise your hand and kind of indicate you have a question maybe before there's a silence. Thank you. Hi, I'm a, I'm a magician and mentalist, and so I'm always looking for new and creative ways to uh, engage people, especially on social media. So um, my question is, um, when is this going to be available for Android? That's a really good question. We're really trying to perfect and get the iOS version up and running first. We, really, we want to get that going so we can make that transition a little bit more seamless. So um, I can't give you an exact time. We've, we thought we'd already be done with it by now. So, How do you make money? <laughs> well, like I said before, we're in the business of creating custom content. And so we're very hopeful. And this has been a, a really an extension of our creative services. So while we would love to make money on an app, we're still getting a lot of people who want to create custom content, which is exactly what we want to do. And that's why this app is unique. So um, there are several things. So there's that, there's a creating custom content. Um, we are looking at more of a, a, a labeled or a branded promo code. So when you enter your promo code, you could have your own custom branding on there with your custom animations. Um, we're also looking at um, professional, like a pro version with music, and we know we've already been able to include video. Uh, that's the next question that people are going to ask, when's video coming? We can already do that, except it's been, uh, the process is taking kind of a long time with 4K cameras and stuff like that. And so Apple's actually said that takes too long and it's, it looks like it's timed out and not working. But there's a pro version side of it too. Um, last but not least, um, connecting designers and animators to people who want their animated logo and, and different things uh, is another way for us to um, possibly make some cash. Uh, that answers quite a bit of, of different things, but uh, no, no problems. Uh, you you kind of spoke to it, but what's, what's the end game here? Is it just an opportunity for you to get your brand name out to help cust find customers for you? or There's that, but we're also leveling the playing field. We're taking what we do for our national brands, and we're able to do it for a small business now. And that's a huge opportunity for small local brands. Um, like I said before, it was, we were trying to extend our creative services. So this has really given us a, a, it gives us a platform, but it also gives other designers and animators a way to go out and reach 
new clients. Uh, our industry is constantly changing, and we're constantly having to figure out ways to beat the streets. And, and there's 22 small, there's 22 million, uh, just in the U.S., small businesses. And so we're trying to figure out ways that we can engage with those folks. Uh, does this or will this work with video? So like as a video overlay. Yes, and I'm um, sorry you missed it earlier, but it, it, there is, um, we, we have the capabilities to add video. Uh, it, takes, uh, it takes longer than a second and a half, which it takes with the still photo. And so um, we are working on that technology, but th the answer is yes. Um, <clears throat> I might have an idea for you on how that can, how you can make money with that. That's Since, awesome. I'm going to talk to you afterwards. Okay. <laughs> People. <laughs> this looks incredible. Um, so I, I just opened a, a climbing gym, and so we're kind of brand new. My, my son is actually our marketing director. Do you guys have any tech support? or I mean, do we just do this, figure it out by ourselves? Do you have anyone that can kind of direct as we're trying to figure through the thing? It's, a, it's an open platform, but we're also open for business. So, I mean, I'm we're happy to um, create that content for you. Um, but there's a lot of, as I've found out over the years, there's a lot of gifted 14-year-old nephews that are extremely <laughs> awesome. And you can use those folks, too. They're, they're, you're more than welcome to use those. And as long as we're playing by the rules, um, and it's very well listed on the site, as long as you're, you know, you have to start a profile on the, on the page, and then uh, it needs to be five seconds, and it talks about frame rates and all the things that need to be there. And so, um, and in fact, if you have Photoshop, I hate to let the cat out of the bag. Photoshop is allowing people to, to animate now, right? So you can actually set up a timeline. So even if you just did a static logo for five seconds in Photoshop, and you sit it there and you render it out with an alpha channel, which it may take a little bit of you know, understanding that how it works, um, you can upload that. So you don't even need to have all these fancy programs that we use on a regular basis. So we're trying to really um, make it extremely easy to add custom branded content to your, to your photos. I love the example of um, what a sharing economy looks like. I recently finished this book, We Commerce, and then there's Kevin Kelly who wrote in the 90s, um, I don't know, new, uh, something about the sharing economy. But I would see that as your, your business, or this aspect of your business, as just a great example of that. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I was um, really inspired by, um, I think it's called Free. It's called The New Age of Rad Radical Pricing or something. Anybody read that book? Anybody? I'm so... Um, yeah, I was inspired by the community part of it and the contributing part and then also how to gain exposure to your own company and how you can leverage that, so yeah. Uh, what file format does it output to and how many downloads have you had? I need to go back and look at the downloads, honestly. Look, the, um, I should have that answer. I'm sorry, that makes me, I should, I'll, I'll get to that answer. Um, you said file format as far as the animation is concerned? Yeah. Okay, so we ask people to upload an MOV file with an alpha channel, so it includes, um, really MOV was a great way for us to um, get the file sizes down to where they need to be because we can control uh, the quality to get, uh, to get the renders down. Um, but as long as it includes an alpha channel um, and it's 1080 by 1080 pixels. And that's what it happens to also? No, so we, we, there's a conversion that happens, so all that algorithm and creating frames. So we're actually playing back frame by frame on, on this, so. so is it, but what is the file format? So if, I mean, can you? Oh, it's gonna export an MP4. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so and, and most of the animations are gonna be about one to two megabytes. So you can email them to yourself, so. I get to ask two questions. Okay. Uh, have you thought about doing uh, branded collections? So if I had a, a company, a brand, a small business, I could put a collection together and somehow connect that to when people are here. I tell them to download Title Farm and animate your videos with this so that uh, it has my logo on there. It says something funny about my business or it says Taco Tuesday from Carlos O'Kelly's or whatever. Right. Yeah, so we're, we're really trying to team up with, again, the Chamber um, has been uh, incredible to work with. It's just creating Wichita stuff. But we have events coming up. We're trying to work with the zoo. So, I mean, we're trying to get with people that we can create a lot of cool content and, and be able to, to use that animated content to jazz up their photos. Um, Rainbows United with uh, Fashion Passions getting ready to kick off later this year. So we're already thinking about ideas with, with how we can do this with bigger events so that people have multiple animations to use during that event. 
so we're trying to step up our social media game, and so we're taking pictures on fantastic equipment, uploading to a desktop, not our iPhones, but they're being made for iPhones view viewers. So is this, does this work on my computer? So only the upload process. And that, that, the reason that we went to the to desktop version to upload this is because we create content on a desktop, right? And so uh, we wanted the content to be available on the go and we wanted it to be simplified for our clients so it was super easy to use. But for us, trying to use those apps, there's a lot of apps that animate and do fun stuff and you can add text. And the thing that we found, especially after talking to some of these folks in this room, is that it wasn't their colors, it wasn't their brands, it wasn't their fonts, it wasn't them, right? So they weren't able to use that as their company posting content on their behalf. And so they, we really kept going back to custom, custom content for our clients. Um, so while we create stuff on the computer, it's, it's, it makes it, we have all the availability to do all the fun, creative stuff we want to do on, for us to create custom and then upload it to the site. And I'm not sure if I'm answering your question. So I've, you, can't, you can't do the the app from the website. You have to do it from the mobile. I guess just touching on that, it's less of a question, but more of what I see as a marketing director is, is basically that you would use the app as a gateway drug and then hire them to make your <laughs> custom in-house stuff. Yes? I love gateway drugs. <laughs> <laughs> so does the meth guy. <laughs> Any questions or funny comments? This is kind of scary. He's my neighbor, so it's kind of scary. Well, I, I just want to, what I'm hearing as a, as a, as a bystander here is, um, I mean, 99% of the people are not going to animate their own logo, guys. Um, I do social media for international, national, regional accounts, and this is a, this is a real game changer. Uh, the reality is you're going to contract with, with, with an ad agency or creative agency, whether it's Justin or somebody else, to create your animation, and you're going to supercharge your social media posts. We all know the migration of billions, hundreds of billions of dollars moving from um, uh, from print and broadcast into social media and digital, and this is a way to be able to make that, um, uh, that, that move perform much better for you. So um, I, I, I just think with also a lot of the technical talk that was coming out of some of the questions, it gets really complicated and people are going to walk out of here and not really, well, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do that. But you absolutely will contract with a, with a design firm to be able to create your animation for your brand, for your business, for your industry, and then you're just going to have people post pictures to that. And it's, um, it's going to cause your engagement to go through the roof, your reach, your impressions, your engagement. You talked about uh, it makes uh, sharing easy, but it makes it fun and it makes it viral. And that's the real important. In social media, it's all about trying to create something viral. And this really um, um, incentivizes and motivates people to share. I swear I didn't pay him <laughs> for that. Yeah. Well, that's a good neighbor. But we, <laughs> we do sit on the porch every once in a while and talk about stuff. So, Any other questions? Well, uh, most importantly, what is a community can we do to help you? Yeah. Really... Use the app. I mean, I'm here to create awareness and, and have people talk about it and share it, and it's completely free, and that's the big thing is we're trying to open this up to, I don't want to say a community, but have people engage in, in the app and in, the, in, in what we're doing. Um, you know, uh, are we seeking investment? Maybe, uh, soon. I mean, it's, it's tough because um, uh, Title Farm is really an extension of Justin McClure Creative, so it's going to be tough to draw the line of where, where we end and where Title Farm begins a lot of times. But uh, are we set up for that yet? No, we're not. So, um, yeah, that, share the app. Have fun with it and, and come up with fun ideas because uh, I shouldn't say this out loud. I'm a horrible businessman, and so if it sounds like a creative idea or it sounds fun, like we'll probably jump in with both feet. Awesome. Thank you, Justin. Thank you.